The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what's happening guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden Mobile video. Guys, today it is Saturday, meaning that there are two new Ultimate Legends added into the game. Guys, we, oddly enough, have an offensive lineman and a defensive lineman. On the offensive side, we have Kevin, Kevin Mawai, who is a center, absolute beast in the late 90s, 2000s. Very, very good player for the Jets. He played for the Titans. I'm trying to remember where else he played, but uh, definitely a great offensive lineman. He does play center, so in my opinion, probably the least important offensive line position in Madden, at least. And obviously, in the real NFL, it meant a lot. But uh, on the other side of the football, we have the beast, Michael Strahan, one of the best defensive players of all time, the single-season NFL sack leader. Yes, Michael Strahan. This is a beastly card, guys. We have a 99 version of Michael Strahan. Strahan. So uh, what we're going to try and do today, guys, we have, uh, like I said, first, let's take a look at these things. Um, I do have a whole bunch of Ultimate Legend packs that we're going to be opening up today, trying to get one of these cards. Uh, but the first thing that I wanted to do is go onto the auction house and see currently what these things are going for. Oh, I still have this one up. Okay, good. So uh, the Kevin Mawai right now, the limited edition version, um, this thing right now at the moment, the cheapest one up is going for 9.5 million, it appears. On the auction house so that is very very expensive um, you know somewhere around 9 to 10 million I believe is what will be the price for at least a, a couple of days at least the rest of today and then uh, let's take a look at the stray hand and see what that one's going for because that one was crazy earlier um, I don't even know if there's one that's a reasonable price okay so we have to change it to 99 excuse me um, the 98 version obviously uh, not the one that we're looking at here. So the 99 version, the cheapest one right now is 30 million coins. 30 million. So uh, yeah, needless to say, we're going to be trying to pull one of these guys. Uh, we have 50 Ultimate Legend packs. And if you guys want to see more Ultimate Legend packs, let me know in the comment section below. I've got plenty of coins to try and open these things up. I've actually, oddly enough, had pretty good luck here pulling packs recently. So uh, we're going to try and pull more today. Uh, I think this might be the biggest pack opening that we've done, at least in terms of Ultimate Legend packs. The other thing, guys, is I do also have a whole bunch of these Ultimate Legend player packs. I've got like, I don't know, 25 or so of those, maybe 26. Um, so if you guys want me to open up those in another video, let me know in the comment section below and maybe we'll make that happen. Uh, but obviously, guys, what's contained in those Ultimate Legend player packs is basically a gold or better Ultimate Legend. So it's essentially the, the Ultimate Legend slot of an Ultimate Legend pack, if that makes any sense. Um, so with that said, guys, we have, like I said, 50 Ultimate Legend packs. So let's not wait any more time. Let's get in here and start opening these things up. We won't spend a whole lot of time on each pack unless we get something beastly. So uh, right off the bat, we don't really pull anything, unfortunately. If you guys don't know, each one of these packs are going to contain one of these Ultimate Legend collectibles, and that's what you put into those sets to get more of those Ultimate Legend player packs so hopefully that makes some sense and then i have a, obviously i still have a ton of these gold ultimate legends that i need to get rid of um, but if i pull any ones that are stray hand or kevin mawai i will probably be selling those today because that's really the best move for those so right there we do get a michael stray hand one these are the the best times to sell the ones that come out today um, you want to do it as soon as possible so you're not wasting any time um, that way they don't drop a, a whole lot in price because people want to complete those sets as soon as possible, you know So uh, right here. We don't really get anything spectacular out of this pack. Unfortunately So uh, we'll continue on I had an update team there. I don't even know what that was for to be honest with you So we do get a Mikey potty here an elite card But not really a good enough one that we're gonna really be able to do a whole lot with I think that was going for I don't know 8k or something like that I think I sold one of them yesterday so, uh, not really a whole lot so far out of these packs, but we do have 50 of them, like I said. So, we've got plenty of packs to go. Unfortunately, no great pulls in this one either. Pretty much looking for one of those things across the bottom that says update team. If that happens, then you know you hit something decent at least. We get another Will Shields there, unfortunately. Again, it only really takes the one big pull to make all of your coins back and way more. So, that's what we're trying to do today. Obviously, if it was as simple as just opening, you know... 100 packs or whatever to automatically pull one of these we would do it but uh you know the most of the time these packs don't really come close to making your coins back each like each individual pack 
doesn't really even come close typically. Most of those, uh, the gold legends go for only a few thousand coins. Um, even the ones like this, the, the boost version of Chad Johnson, that doesn't even go for a whole lot of coins. So, you know, you pretty much have to hit one of the elite ultimate legend players to make it worth your while. And unfortunately, we have not done that yet. We are certainly running dry. We do have a ton of coins though, because of that amazing DeMarcus Wear pull, DeMarcus Wear pull that I had the other day. And if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you go check that one out. Uh, because it was an awesome pull. Definitely my uh, best pull so far in Madden Ultimate Team uh, Mobile, at least. So, uh, yeah, not unfortunately not having that kind of luck in this pack opening video. But, you know, we locked up a whole bunch of coins. So, right here, we do get an elite version of Sam Madison. Now, unfortunately, this is probably the cheapest version of Sam Madison. So, it's an 87 overall. Not really anything spectacular. But it is going to, again, give us an elite card. So, that's obviously a good thing we want to have as many of those as we can get um, in this pack opening video the best ones that you can get are the ones that are in the 90s if there are those um, the high 80s for a couple of guys those cards tend to be worth a lot at least that one will give us close to how much the pack is worth though so actually this must make sense okay so it must be the specialist edition that I pulled that was giving me that update before so we'll just quick update my team with that kicker card so that uh, so that it doesn't keep popping up and scaring me and making me think that we pulled something amazing Let's continue on here, guys. Unfortunately, nothing out of that pack either. What are you guys getting in your Ultimate Legend packs? I mean, I I feel like I haven't pulled a whole lot out of the actual Ultimate Legend packs. I haven't really pulled a whole lot of fire out of them. But you guys got to let me know. I mean, are those the packs that you guys have been pulling? And if, if they are, are they getting you guys good pulls? Or are you guys kind of having the same type of luck that I am with them and not really pulling anything great? And as I say that, we get ourselves a Paul Krause 91. Remember I mentioned before the uh, elite versions of these Ultimate Legend players are the ones that you want to look for. Obviously, this being the 91, this one is going to be the expensive one of the set. So that is a very, very nice pull. It's great that I say that right as I'm bitching about not having good luck out of these packs. So we get the 91 speed version of that card. That is a really, really nice pull. That's going to at least pay for a few packs. So that is a very, very nice pull. Happy about that one. We'll continue on here. Maybe we can get a couple more of those to make it worthwhile. And uh, damn, I thought we got one there, but we didn't, unfortunately. That was We got a few interesting things out of here, though. We got one of the specialist cards here, the kick returner. But he's, what, 82 speed? Terrible. That's not worth it. We're definitely not going to be using that. We got a Chad Ochocinco, and then we also got a Season Stars player as well. So although that pack wasn't anything great, it didn't contain anything spectacular, it contained a couple at least low-level things to come close to, you know, nah, I shouldn't even say come close, but get us closer to making our coins back on that individual pack. So let's continue on here, and we get an 86 in Damakung Su, which kind of scared me, but unfortunately it wasn't our legend player, so uh, we get a Brian Dawkins there. The Su is not really worth a whole lot. The lower overall elites right now are actually quite cheap, so if you don't have an all elite squad, you can certainly um, you know, go on, buy a couple of coins, and put together a team that's at least going to make you a, you know, upper 80s, 90 overall, somewhere in that range. Which is basically what my team is sitting at right now because I just don't really find that I need anything better at the moment. Sometimes I like to go in and, and buy a card or if I pull something, I like to play with them for a little bit. But uh, for the most part, I just stick with the players that I like and uh, use those in Ultimate Team or in, um, you know, like my uh, standard events and things like that on mobile. And right here we get a 94 Steven Paya defensive end card this thing is uh not the best card in the game but certainly a decent pull here 94 overall bench press edition of steven Paya. that's a nice pull man i'm definitely happy to see that anytime that we pull a mid 90s overall player that is a good ass pull so we've gotten a few solid pulls out of these packs today guys not enough to like make our coins back or anything but uh let's see here how many more of these do we have Looks like we've got uh, 20 more still. Wait a second. 25 more? 1, 2, 3. No, 20 more um, Ultimate Legend packs. So we've gone through 30 already, guys. Let's continue to rip through them. We're about, what, 40? No, 60% of the way through. So, unfortunately, we haven't gotten either of the uh, Ultimate Legend Limited Edition versions. But, uh, you know, still gotten a couple decent pulls out of here. And we're getting a whole bunch more of those gold players that we need as well to do more of those sets. Um, to be able to actually get ourselves a bunch of large quick sells. Because that is going to be a fun video, I think. I'm going to do 100 quick sells. And maybe I'll end up doing some, like, uh, quick sell wars. I don't know if you guys have seen those on my channel before. Maybe I can find some people to match up against here in mobile. Uh, you know, Chase or, I don't know, somebody maybe. If you guys have any suggestions, obviously... The big dogs probably aren't going to want to collab with me at this point, but 
um, you know, some somebody that's like a relatively smaller channel, similar to my size channel, we could probably do some collabs where we do like a contest to see who gets the better uh, the better quick sells, and then whoever loses has to like give away all those coins or something like that. I don't know. We'll do something like that here on the channel eventually because I am going to have a whole bunch of random like gold cards and things like that at the end of these videos. So uh, yeah, make sure that you guys stop on back to see more of that stuff. Unfortunately, we're pretty dry right now on the packs, guys. But uh, we're still going to keep ripping them here. What do we got left? 14 more. Or wait a second. Nine more it looks like. So come on, baby. We got to get some something good here. Something good. We got to get something beastly. We get a lucky white here at the head there. Loved that guy on the Cowboys this year, guys. He was nasty on those end rounds. All right. Come on, man. Give me an ultimate legend player. Come on. Need something amazing. We need just one amazing pull to wrap up this video, guys. Let's make it happen right here. Damn. Damn. All right. Five more packs. We're down to our final five packs, guys. And again, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying these large pack opening videos. This is what? 2.5 million, I believe, in packs. So pretty decent sized pack opening. Not the biggest that you're going to find on YouTube, but certainly a decent sized one. So let's keep going here. Three more packs. Damn, man. We're down to two more, unfortunately. We did get that Paul Kraus, though, and we got the Steven Paya. Those are both very, very nice pulls. And damn, we miss on that one as well. Final pack of the video, guys. Thanks so much for sticking with me. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And we miss again. Damn, so 50. And we don't pull either of the Ultimate Legend Limited cards, unfortunately. But to get some good elite pulls and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you drop a like on the, the video. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys want me to open up those packs that I was talking about. Uh, the Ultimate Legend Player Packs. I'm probably going to be making more of them this afternoon. So again, be sure to stop on back. Thanks again, guys. And I will talk to you guys again soon.